This is the plaintiff, Nicole Lord. She says she rented a townhouse from the defendant. And when she moved out, they did a walkthrough. Everything seemed fine, and they hugged, and she left. A month later, the crazy woman tells her she isn't getting her security back because she left the place in disarray and none of the appliances worked. Well, that's a total lie. She's not going to just walk away from her hard-earned 2000 bucks and is suing this crook for just that today. This is the defendant, Stephanie High. She says the plaintiff only gave her one week's notice before moving out. And she shorted out the stove, the washing machine was ruined, and the dryer was damaged. She provided the careless woman with four-page detailed estimate exceeding her security and is owed nothing. End of story. She's accused of taking it all. All parties, please get your hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says she moved out of the defendant's townhouse and the defendant accused her of ruining appliances and kept her security. The defendant says the plaintiff ruined the washer dryer. It's the case of one vicious cycle. Thank you, Douglas. You okay, Ms. Lord, how long did you live in a townhouse owned by Ms. High? Two years, Your Honor. Okay, and were there any problems during those two years? No, not at all, Your Honor. Okay. So you decided to leave and were you in the middle of a lease when you left or no? Uh, no, I was at that time. I was on a month to month by that time. Okay. All right. Now, according to both of you, there's a $1,900 deposit at play, correct? Correct. All right. And why didn't you return the deposit to her? Um, I met Miss uh, Lord on June the 2nd. Well, actually, June the 3rd, she was able to meet me at the property to do the walkthrough. Um, what kind of property is this? It is a three-story talent home. Okay. Beautiful townhome. And the, it's the whole the whole three stories she's renting? The whole three stories, yes, okay. Yara. Go ahead. And we do the walkthrough, and we get there, and as soon as um, we go through the, right upstairs to the first level, which is the living room, dining room, and the kitchen, uh, immediately as I go up the stairs, there's gouges and holes in the wall. I'd like to see pictures. You did not submit them into evidence, did you? Um, well, to give you an, a really clear view, they were on my phone. Uh, let me see them on your phone. So I gave you, I'm giving you before when she actually moved in and the damages that were after in there. And then I can click to the, the damages once you're done with those. Okay. Now, um, what wall is that? Do you know? That is the wall um, leading up to the first floor. Okay. Does that look familiar? What was there? What did you rip off that caused the paint to, ch to chip? I have absolutely no idea. Okay. But that's there, right? Like it's not like... That doesn't... What happened to the blinds? I admit responsibility for that. My, son, my youngest son did that. Was he hanging on him? <laughs> okay, what is this a picture stuff. of? That is a uh, part of, that was missing from the stove. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's what the, is that? It's a part that's the, it's at the back of the stove. There was grime and filth all around the front. Is this a wire? What is this I'm looking at? I have no it's idea. A, it's a metal piece from the back of the stove. That what, fell out? That it wasn't there. It shouldn't have been hanging there. What is this a picture of? That is my washing machine. Oh, so what is all this? That's residue from the laundry detergent. It was Clean four up, inches man. thick. That's gross. It's not $4,000 gross, but it's gross. That's the uh, gouges in the first floor wall as you're coming What up. happened there? Um, that probably happened when we were moving the yeah. furniture out. Yeah, you got to pay for that. What is this a picture of? The shelves are broken out of the um, cabinets. Yeah. And then the shelves itself, they were so filthy from food residue and things that were left up there. That is underneath the sink. That's usually moisture. That, that hands, dirt, and like oil was thrown off. It was on the walls. The whole entire house had to be painted. Carpet ripped. And what happened to the carpet? That's normal wear and tear, Your Honor. Oh, no, ripping the carpet out? It's not. Um, you know, normal wear and tear is exactly what it sounds like, normal wear and tear. Like, it doesn't look fresh and new anymore because I've lived there for two years. That is damage. What's going on there? Several, that outlet and other outlets um, were either tampered with. Uh, they were not like that when she had, they had to be taken out and new fixtures had to be put up. Here's another one that's like that. That, again, missing the entire fixture that was on there. Look at the walls, some kind of- uh, That's not missing the fixture, ma'am. It, the, I'm sorry, on the other one. And there's another one like that. And then okay, the- the walls are filthy. I see what you're saying about the walls. The heating ducts, again, 
totally broken. Show me proof that you paid four thousand dollars in repairs. That's the fixture I was that's telling you about. That's the fixture that's missing. missing. Where's the thing that was on that? You see? Why is it out of there? Who knows? Um, okay. The ceiling. What happened here? That is major right there. What happened there? That is in the living room, but it came from the master bathroom, the tub, splashing what? water everywhere, everywhere, and it started to leak. When off. did you take this picture? The day she moved out. That, that is the day we did the walkthrough. What's and this a picture? That's of? my garage floor where her car leaked oil and oil and soaked entire into the floor. Okay, I'm definitely seeing some damage, but how do you come up with four grand? I mean, I have to replace the washing machine and the dryer. No, I, got, I want legitimate quotes. Like, how, how much is the security deposit? Nineteen fifty. Yes, ma'am. The cost of the house and what was paid for it and what was deducted, I have. Here's this. what I want. I okay. want anything about the repairs and what they will cost. Okay. I gotta tell you, I don't know that it's four thousand, but you know, nineteen fifty. The walls alone. And the carpet is, you know, a problem. Like if it's just, a, if we just forget everything else, how are, you know, those walls need some, and the blinds. I mean, even, even if it's the cheapest blinds available, um, you know, the there's a lot of damage and grime on those walls. Have, the whole place has to be repainted. Well, Your Honor, the, the walls. That's not normal wear and tear. People don't normally, li listen, how many kids do you have? I have two. How old? Four and 18 months. I'm not even big enough to do that Very much. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, that's adult, that's some adult grime going well, on. Your Honor, according to yeah. the paperwork in the rental application and her tax return, she has five kids and a husband. And I, I question that, but to look at the damages that were done to that property, it seemed like it was done. How do you have her tax return? Because <laughs> it was part of the rental application. Oh. That the realtor did the background check, did the employment check. How did, many kids do you have, two or five? I have two, I just. I have credit for a stepchildren that I was married. When I was married, I have stepchildren from a previous relationship. Were they living there with you? No. But you were taking no. the credit anyway? Not in that time when I was living there, no. But I was told by the, when I, when I, I this guy who yeah. came to the end to put the window guards and things up, that her husband was living there and there was more children in the house. And it specifically stated in the lease if there was any additional yeah, people. Yeah, but they could have just been there for that moment. You don't know. She said her husband was not at home. Several times when he tried to come oh, and put the window Oh, because she didn't guards. want him to come in? Correct. And he wasn't on the lease? He was not on the lease. And it was specifically stated it was supposed to be only her and the baby. Do tenants abuse apartments because they don't own them? Uh, yeah, I believe they do, even though they shouldn't. It's not their property. They're just renting it. But uh, people seem to do that all the time. Is that kind of a common thing? I believe so. The tenants just don't respect the property they rent. I believe so, but I can't speak for myself because I... You're clean as a whistle. I got my deposit back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> going inside the courtroom. Look, um, I don't know that it's 4,200, but I'm feeling pretty confident that it's at least 1,950. She's not counterclaiming against you. She's just saying, look, I'm out so much that why should I have to return her security deposit? Just the stuff on the walls, which you admit to, because who else, if not you, that's not certainly not normal wear and tear, requires an entire painting of the entire place. Um, the kitchen cabinets that you know you didn't get broken require somebody's attention and going to the hardware store, buying all that stuff, and getting them back and, and, and put correctly. Um, I'm not gonna order her to return the security deposit to you. I think that the damages, um, if they don't exceed it, they at least arrive at it. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. Well, the plaintiff fails in her attempt to get her security deposit back. Ms. Lord, at the beginning, you said the two of you had a walk through and everything looked fine and you were happy, but the pictures tell a different story. What do you think? I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It didn't look that bad to me. I mean, the, you you got to admit, the pictures look pretty bad in many respects, right? Okay. You don't agree? No. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the judge filed against you. You don't get your 1950 back again. Is that what it was, 1950 exactly? The security? Yes. Okay. You get to keep it. Yes. You got to fight to keep it, though, didn't you? Well, yeah, I fought hard, and I'm glad the judge ruled in my favor, and I'm, and I'm happy with the verdict. Good enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. Doug, the longer you live in an apartment, the more it's normal wear and tear, you don't have to pay.